finish and work in one spot and do an absolute complete finish as they work their way across. Whatever is comfortable for you. If that works better for you, then do it. Uh, this works better for me because I can't see it. See how that looks already? I get a feel for it a little faster and I don't have to keep the the piles of color so restrictive because you've got to have everything in in your black for the finish. You've got to have the highlight colors and the everything. This way I can kind of break it down and just do it gradual little basics one step at a time. And that works for me, whatever works for you. But this is the way I'm teaching this one. So you're stuck with this. A little purple, just a little of that blue. Oh, I like that. That's a little brighter. Put that right here. You see? Doesn't have to be perfect. No. Don't try and get everything just perfect. Just fill it in the spaces. And I'll show you something kind of fun. Now, since we have our light coming from this way, we're brightening this up a little bit more than it is in the picture. And same with this shoulder. And the same with the top of this. knee flattens out and that'll have so we'll stop right there okay alrighty I'm going to grab a little black as I look here a little darker right across there okay now I'm looking to see if I missed any spots. This muscle right here. This actually kind of curves up into here a little more. Yeah, since we're changing this, we're making the, ooh, that's real purple, uh, direction of that sun, we're going to add some of the things that would make that look like the sun is going to be striking this part of him right here. can't see it in the picture but I know it's there off that muscle right there okay I'm gonna leave the face for right now I'm gonna take I'm not going to take the mop brush because it's a little too soft. So let's take this one. It's a big angle shader. And watch what I'm going to do. It's dry. It hasn't been dipped in anything. It's just dry. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to kind of lightly, just kind of very, very lightly brush that across. Yeah, that kind of automatically blends that. Isn't that cool? And for any of you who grew up watching some of the painting shows on uh, uh, public broadcasting, there was a German uh, gentleman. I can't remember his name, and I was watching him. I was probably 13 or 14, maybe 15 and watching him paint mountains and he called this hypnotizing so 
I call it that too. That is very cool. But what this does is it knits those edges together so that none of them are real super hard. If you need to change them, they're easier to change if they're fuzzy. Okay, and then doing the feet is just a matter of a smaller brush. Now we'll try and get up into the face. I don't know how good this camera does doing super close-ups. Now, now that I've cleaned this brush, this dry brush, can't use it again to do any of that. I'd have to have a brand new, this brush would either have to dry for like five hours or I'll grab another one because there's enough turpentine left in here for the next hour or two that if I try to, it'll take the paint out. See that? It doesn't, it won't blend. All it does is take the paint off. So once you've used a dry brush and you're done and you want to go back and retouch it after you've cleaned it, you can't do it. Got to have a new clean brush. Okay, and we're going to fill in the feet real fast here. This is the quarter inch because this gets me smaller. The other one was a half inch. And all I'm going to do, well, I'm going to look at some of the highlights on the hoof. I might want to leave some of those spots. Light's coming from this way. Right now, just, just fill it in. I hope you can see that. The light's shining on it. That hoof's going to have a white shiny spot right about there. This one is going to be a whole lot harder to see. Because that foot's bent back away from the light. So for right now, it's just going to be all one color. And we'll worry about the other stuff later. Now it's showing a lot more light, but see where it's shiny? That's because the light's overhead and it's shining this way. We want the light coming this way, so I'm going to make it darker on the left, like this. And then we'll leave the shiny stuff right in front of the highlights. Part of his shoe is showing. That's why this hoof looks bigger, so I'm probably going to make that a little smaller. Where his shoe is. I don't know if you see that point right there. You're seeing the shoe up there is what you're seeing, and not hoof. can't see all of it 
If you know your anatomy, you're going to know what that foot looks like when it's bent. You know what it would look like. If you were a, a veterinarian or something and you'd come out and you'd know if there was a bowed tendon on your horse, well, you know, when you paint something, ask yourself, geez, is that, you know, I got lumps on a horse's leg or he's got a bowed tendon or what is that I just put on there? If you think of it that way, you, you might, uh, that might help you. You know, look at it. Say, can my horse walk on that leg I just painted? If you can't, you better fix it. And we'll just put a little highlight back here because we're not sure quite where all that's going to go. See how just that little bit of that gray? Just a little bit of that. I just grabbed some just for fun. And I'm going to leave those other white spots alone for now. And I don't care that I didn't hit all my spots. We're going to redo that background. It's going to have another layer. Plenty of time to correct or pull the body across the background. Those lines are not in stone. You can work them back and forth as you need to. It's the nice thing about oil paints. You can paint over, but in some cases, it's, it's a lot easier to change a light color into a dark color than it is to change a dark color into a light color so where his star and snip is going to be I'm not putting any black paint over that at all because if I did it would be harder for me to add that white star on because black underneath and it is just be a battle to make that star white and bright again